Hello, this is JC Cohort 23. Wow, uh, here I am, um, say six months uh, ago, we started this journey. Um, and what a ride, what, what, what a ride. Uh, you know, we've come a long way going into them. Didn't know how I was going to be able to squish it into my schedule with everything I got going on. Um, but I've been very, uh, I was, uh, there was many times that I thought that it was just not going to be possible with my schedule and whether I was going to be able to juggle all the things that I have that, you know, one, thank God, um, for the strength and one, uh, you know, I've had some great instructors, uh, cohort leaders that, um, that, um, have helped me, uh, through the, through the process. I thought this process was very, um, quite a reality check for me, but also, um, just when you think that you know a lot and you understand the teaching aspect, the reason why I got into teaching such a late in my careers, uh, uh, is my dad passed away last year and he was, a you know, he was a professor in, in the armed forces and he was an ethic, uh, professor. And he's always wanted me to be, to follow that lead. Um, uh, always venture on my own with sports. I was big in sports, played sports most of my life, uh, at every, at every level pretty much. And, um, you know, my career, my, my professional career kind of always correlated with sports and, um, you know, I have a nonprofit that I still uh, oversee. Um, and then I also now teach and I took this venture about teaching as a substitute and kind of went from us being a substitute to a long term, uh, to a, uh, you know, provisionary teacher in a lapse of, wow, four months. And that was quite, um, it's quite a journey, quite a, a decision, quite, um, you know, a bold move on my part to partake. Um, but also, you know, it was an experience that I was excited about and, um, you know, an honor, honor, honor and dad on that case. And, um, you know, and from the beginning, I've learned, I feel like I've learned so much, you know, Learned through building relationships with my classmates. You know, we've, uh, we started this cohort 23 with, I believe, 10 um, students. Here we are concluding this cohort six months later with uh, three. Um, so, uh, and, you know, completely understand we all have busy, you know, life, personal life, professional life. And can this, this process can get quite, you know... Uh, tough and um, you know I was glad that I was able to stay strong and focus um, but as I mentioned a lot of it has to do with you know the support and that I got from my cohort and then the motivation and you know the collaborative work that we're done with the class classmates um, you know finishing up with three and I think all three of us Susanna and Anna we all three of us were able to um, stick together and work together and encourage each other and support each other and motivate each other and challenge each other, critique each other. So, you know, in the midst of the, of losing members, losing classmates, we stuck and we stuck strong and, you know, and that was, uh, that was one of the greatest experience. Um, and, you know, the, that I learned, especially in this virtual way of, uh, of getting this certification, you know, I haven't met any of my cohorts. And the fact that we were able to establish this relationship, this bond through virtual, and we were able to progress through the course of the of uh, of our uh, certificate, um, you know, um, class, um, it was it, it was great. It was great to experience. So uh, definitely, you know, a big thing that I think that I that I can learn from learn from the different types of teaching methods that we learn through virtual, through different utilizing standards, the in-task, I wasn't familiar with them. I knew some standards. I had some ethical standards that I've kind of always learned from dad. Um, but when it came to the actual structure of 
you know, different faces, different different facets of the class, um, you know, that was very refreshing to to sort of uh, you know incorporate that into my arson, you know, as a as a very you know as a teacher in, in this early stage. So, you know, that has helped me. Uh, I can see it's going to help me grow professionally as a teacher. It's going to definitely equip me. It's going to build up my armor a little bit more. Um, you know. I built I built this relationship with my students. They have uh, adapted to me, and I adapted to them, and we've sort of um, you know created this structure, this 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 uh, sort of uh, pattern that has allowed us to be very uh, take advantage of uh, being proactive and engaging in our classes, and collaborative as well. Um, you know, and that's you know through all the different facets that you know using different methods of tools of teaching, you know, virtually, you know, like different other software, other programs. Um, you know, I was not, not a big tech savvy and, you know, this, this program allowed me to kind of think outside the box and incorporate some of those tools. Uh, and that's also something that I can say that I'm definitely taking on this journey as I, as I, as I, as I continue. Um, and then I know all this, all, all this stuff that we learned, you know, through the clinical is going to uh, equip me and, and, you know, empower me more to, you know, impact my students uh, in the long run, especially with their learning, especially working with ARS kids. Um, our kids have a lot of challenges, you know, not just physically, mentally as well, psychologically. And the more prepared, the more equipped, the more savvy we are in order to, you know, translate our our you know, our lessons and our experience in teaching, especially in their world, uh, can be groundbreaking for their lives. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm excited to get here. It's been a journey. Uh, and I thank everyone for, you know, helping me out. And uh, I'm excited to conclude and uh, get back to uh, a little bit of normality. Uh, but, you know, um, it's just a uh, one of the things that dad always used to tell me, life is about learning every day. And this is just one of those occasions. And I'm excited that I was able to accomplish it. Um, and I'm ready for my next uh, challenge. Um, so hopefully, you know, in the next couple of months, uh, once after the holiday, take the prep for the praxis, take it and um, sort of deciding if I should proceed with the master, um, which most likely is going to happen. It's just don't know the exact time. Uh, but I'm excited where I am. I, I feel comfortable where I am. I feel um, I feel that I'm teaching at a place that I love uh, and a place that I grew up. I went to school there, um, you know, 30 years ago. I was a student at this uh, middle school, uh, and it's it's been awesome to experience the circle, full circle, coming back and get back to the community that built me and opened up a lot of opportunities for me to see the world and, and to give back. Uh, and help the kids because I was once one of those students that, you know, had some struggles, especially as a minority and, you know, so uh, in a very um, upscale community, you know, and um, it was tough for me to uh, relate and I can, I can definitely, my experience and my, my passion for teaching and working with kids, uh, especially at this level, um, you know, although I've been doing it personally, professionally with my nonprofit, but this is more impactful here locally as I go back and get back to my roots. So that's me. Thank you, JC Cohort 23.